think I just did a dog poop. That's okay. Because I have art. Very strange day. So we're gonna escape the prison. Brother. We don't even have this stuff in London. I feel Since I'm already in the fence, I may as well stay in. I mean, I'm occupying it right now, so. Run, Forrest, run. Disclaimer, guys, there's so much lore here. I don't know all of it. I'm gonna go over a little bit of it. I have no sides in this political and religious and whatever debate. I just think that wars and killing people is bad. So stop it. Now, let's go explore a really cool part of Belfast. In 1921, Whenever most of Europe was focusing on World War I, the Great War, something was happening up here in the UK. Ireland was getting its freedom. And I'm trying not to get hit by a car. Why? Well, in the 1700s, Britain colonized a lot of the Irish island, mostly in the north, because it was really close to Britain, but then it was also used for a super cool shipping port where ships like the Titanic were all built. So we're here to learn more about the art, to see the art, to learn more about the history that I don't think is taught quite a lot outside of Ireland. So let's go explore the art and see what we see. And maybe this video will go up and maybe not because we're trying a new camera setup. So if you watch these videos and you like the new camera setup, let me know. Because, I mean, or don't, like it's really up to you. To kick our journey off, we're gonna pop into the Irish Republican History Museum. We're not in Ireland, we're in North Ireland, and there's so much lore and history about this that I'm excited to tell you about. Yeah, yeah, Instead of sitting in the pants, I'm working yeah, on it. Yeah, it's it's my co workers are asking me what the hell is all these materials are high for. We're now in the museum of all of the things of the Irish Republic. Up here, oh, you see the flag of Ulster. Now, why is Ulster important in North Ireland? Well, it's predominantly where the Protestants were. And so, yeah, they wanted to hang out with England a little bit more. Check these out. Tiny heart. Not everybody wanted to be part of the UK, but there was a large group of people that did want to be part of the UK. That region is known as Ulster, which is the region that Belfast is in, which is where we're at now. A lot of the people fought against the UK. Britain. Trying to gain their freedom hunger strikes and prisoners. But how do you protest against the government? How do you get your point across? For over 50 years, this battle raged from 1921 to 1972. In fact, the Irish Republic Army actually met in London a bunch of times with the British Army to try to negotiate some sort of like a, an agreement, a, f a pact. Give us the whole island. Well, clearly that didn't go out so well. Now a bunch of bad stuff happened on both sides. The British Army was kind of dicks to the IRA and the IRA was kind of dicks to the British Army. There's no one right in this situation. People lost their life and that's just not cool. The thing that I like about this though is that there's so much art and energy and stuff around it. So that's why we're here. We're gonna go see the art and the energy and who knows what else we'll find because I haven't been in this part of Belfast before, so let's go explore.
Now this is a very cool building. I will try to make this not too political, but like we're literally in this area of like Palestine flags and Irish flags and all sorts of history. But this building is pretty cool. Irish store here with a nice EU flag. It's kind of crazy, just like two hours by train south of us, you can actually be in the EU. So between North Ireland and Ireland, it's an open border. So there's no one, you know, checking passports or doing that sort of stuff. So you, there's free travel between the borders. Ooh, check this out. That's pretty. I wonder what that is. <laughs> so in this area of Belfast, we can see a lot of the signs are still in Gaelic. And I think that's super cool. Like a bunch of stuff in Ulster it looks pretty similar to how it looks in London. It's very British, but in this area, it's kind of cool that they've kept like that free dirty vibe. Now on top of the political conflicts here being political, there was also a religious thing. Cause like England, as we learned, has the Church of England because Henry VIII wanted a divorce. He wanted a new wife, but Irish was really Catholic. And even though it all originated from the same person, go watch the video about the Jesus of Nazareth. Um, there's still different religions here. In front of us, we see a monastery which is kind of cool. So we're going to go look at the org chart to see the org chart. It looks like we have Jesus on top and his two assistants. Let's go inside and see what it is. Okay, that was quite cool and unexpected and I'm probably gonna put this on top of the other video as I'm walking around so inside the, the cathedral it was so quiet the walls of the cathedral have these beautiful mosaics on them and then like the org chart in the back of it it looks super cool um, lots of really pretty paintings and that sort of stuff and it smells really good I was extremely impressed with how how nice it was. So we're gonna continue to walk and just see what we explore. This is, oh look! It looks like that guy is a principal engineer. Chart of one. Okay. Well, we're gonna continue to explore because this is, whoa. We have to get used to using this new camera. <laughs> um, yeah, let's go continue and explore. Okay, this is what I like about over here, you see this massive rolling hill. Oh yeah, I forgot to tell you something. So if you want to go see all of the cool Irish Republic stuff here, you can actually hire a taxi and they will drive you around and you can go see everything. Or if you like me and you just like getting your steps in, you can just like walk to see it all yourself. So in front of us is a new monument we haven't seen. Okay, so here, Flag of Ulster, and let's go explore it. So there's all these monuments all around this area of people that were killed by the British forces and all sorts of stuff. Now, if you do get one of the taxis that drives you around, they explain everything to you and they tell you some history and some lore. So I think that's pretty cool. 
Uh, recognizing that this part of the world is still occupied by Britain. I'll let you decide that. I mean, I'm occupying it right now, so gotta make some some laughter. So we're now at what is known as the peace lines. And they built a wall. I don't know if that created peace, but there's a wall. And this wall divided, very similar to how it is in Londonderry, this wall divided the Irish Republicans and the British Loyalists. We have a nice little sign back here. Okay, we're gonna try to go figure out how to get on the other side of the wall. Like even still, there's a fence here. Oh, the fence is probably to protect the wall, not actually for the wall itself. That's probably how it goes. But how do we get on the other side of the wall? Okay, let's go back this way. And we're gonna try to get on the other side of the wall because it looks cool. But I saw a taxi over there. Oh, hey, there's a port to the Sabierto. We're totally going to see the wall. Let's go. <laughs> I don't know if this port is supposed to be Abierto, but it is. Abierto. See, I didn't do it. It's open. It looks like there was a fire here a couple days ago. It doesn't smell like fire. So I don't think there is fire. Them no. Wait. No. Maybe? Maybe I can walk over there? I don't know. We're going to try to come on this way. Since I'm already in the fence, I may as well stay in. Now we're on the other side of the wall. And this is my guess. Oh, hey, look at that. We have art. Art. Let's take a look at the art. So on this side of the wall, we have graffiti. Check it out. Why doesn't the other side have paintings? Look at all of these pretty, pretty signs. Okay, someone drop a comment and let me know why this side has graffiti and why the other side doesn't. Because, guys, art is cool. Like graffiti on graffiti. Let's read some of them. Larkin, you're gonna miss this. Aw, sounds like a nice relationship. Peace to the world. Okay, I've crossed the street because I see a taxi driver. And there must be a famous thing if he's telling his people a famous thing. Check out from this side. Like this is what I mean. So this is where we were on the other side. And look at all of this art on the side. Whoever did this, thank you. No, this is a pretty epic thingy here. It looks like we have some sculptures. Okay, so the weird thing, it's like there's a fence on this side and then there's a fence on this side. So I believe that we're walking in the green zone of what probably existed 50 years ago. It's really weird that this exists in the UK or that it existed. Now it's just cool art and stuff. But it's like that side couldn't see anything and then this side they could see stuff. Oh look, we have art up here. Maybe we can go see that art. So there's some lore about a women's prison 
and in the Irish Republic Museum there was so much about that in there and I see a lot of women maybe we can see the women we'll see see the women on the wall maybe that's what they're there for so across from us we have the tourist bus with all of the tourists and they are taking photos at a Titanic memorial and reading the reviews. Yeah, that ship sank. So like basically everything with the pods has a place on this wall. Right here we even have Rosa Parks, who was the person in America who worked for helping equality between people of darker skin and people of whiter skin. So now we're gonna go up this very busy street and see what's here. Oh, that one's pretty. So now we're standing at like a British, British memorial in this same area. And we know that because of the poppies and because of the British flag and the British flag and the Ulster hand. Dude, this place is crazy. There's so much weird stuff. So we're approaching Shank Hill Road and there's quite a lot of lore about it. But maybe you can see this. So over here too, like we see more of the British um, British memorial stuff is over here. Like literally two kilometers over there, it was like all Irish. And now we're back in, uh, back in Britain, you guys. Okay, remember how I showed you the Irish store? Literally across the little divider line, we have the British store. Yes, no worries. I need our cappuccino. It's pretty cool. Whoa. Shed Kill Road! Maybe I should have done some research about this place before, but I kind of just wanted to come out and explore it and see what's here. But this is crazy. So we have the king here, and then across the street we have the queen. We don't even have this stuff in London. I feel like that we're doing something different out there. And we see the entire opposite over here. Moral of the story, don't be a dick. Now the thing I find interesting about this side is that it's a little bit more intense than the other side. This place over here is documenting some of the stuff that the IRA did. The king! So I find this really interesting. Like, we have these beautiful murals on the walls. And then to the very right of a lot of the stuff, you know, we have like open, open storage. And I don't understand why. Oh, I think it's someone's house. I won't go in. But it's just like open storage like that. So I find it interesting that we have that. Okay, we are now on a quest for lunch and just to continue to go explore. So let's go. Oh, brother. We're now in a prison. What is this crazy day we're on? So we are in the Kremlin Road Gaul. And it's right next to a distillery. 
So I guess after the prison we should go distill. So we are at our first starting point. Ooh. Maybe this is where... I'm very confused on where to go. Maybe it's this? Gold basement? Oh, it does not smell good in here. It smells really bad. Aha. Mm -hmm. Feel free to take this white car box to the museum area. Or making your way Cool, you guys. Cool, sir. <laughs> I have a hologram. Let me tell you a little about the tunnel on my left. Guys, this is insane. A tunnel that I have passed through many times. This is meters in length. So after that very nice jump here, we're going down this tunnel. The reinforced concrete that you can see adds to the and tunnel. And you can hear him speak. Is directly under the Cromwell Road. It's only 1.5 meters below the road. Reason for the concrete? Check that out. That goes like forever. It was added to the uh, due to the increasingly heavy traffic on the Cromwell Road. All these little tiny rooms here. So this is the size of a cell, and three to five people would be in one of these thingies. I mean, that was the one for medical stuff. But children were prisoners because at the age of seven they could be a prison. Hi. So this is a child cell. Pretty sure a person at the age of seven should make mistakes. Check this out. This is insane, guys. It's like the, uh... TV shows. Okay, so check this out. Padded cells were started to be created in the 1800s. Well, this is like still original. Obviously, they were used for prisoners who, you know, wanted to harm themselves and the prison wanted to keep them alive. It's pretty weird thinking that people actually lived in there. So the governor would give permission for prisoners to paint stuff on the wall. Like you can see there's graffiti and stuff here, but like these big murals are from the prisoners. And the governor gave permission for them to paint stuff on the walls whenever they were taking art classes. So I think that's pretty cool. Well then, governor. Something is bad in here. So we're gonna escape the prison. <laughs> okay, we've escaped the prison. Oh, I can't breathe again. Oh, we're applauding. Thank you. There's some army trucks here. Not sure why. Oh man. That was one of the most intense smells I've experienced in a while. Let's now experience this car. Can we go in? I don't think so. So we're gonna now go experience this corner over here. Oh, that's so cool. Now we're walking the prison walls. So I learned that this prison was in use until 1996. And until 1999, there was this thing called the corporal punishment thingy, where if you were a prisoner and you were killed in here, you couldn't have a grave, which is weird. So let's go continue. I'm, I'm Walk these walls. 
And now we have another army truck. Maybe we can see what's inside. Maybe. Can you tell me? I can't see. Look at that tire. Wow. We have this massive helicopter. You know, just in case you want to go for a private tour, hop in the helicopter. So was this Cumberland Road gel experience worth it? 15 pounds. You only could see one layer. And look, you could have gone up into so many different layers. Um, I'd say no. I'd say it's worth like five pounds, especially with how not nice it smelt. But it was very cool, and I've never been in a Victorian prison before. So, like, they have all sorts of, it's super touristy, all sorts of restaurants, bars, and pubs here. So, check it out if you're in Belfast, and if not, then don't check it out. Okay, so now we're downtown Belfast. And check this out! We found costumes! This is a very strange day. It's building out. There's all these X's on it. It's quite unique. Oh, well, let's go check out this. So all these old, old buildings up here, right next to some new stuff. And we see something. I like that quite a lot. Check out this building. It's all abandoned now. It's one interesting thing I'm finding about Belfast is that there's a large amount of abandoned buildings and just empty. We now have all of this very cool art. Like all of these buildings, you guys. There are these beautiful buildings and they're just not in use anymore and they're not Man, I would love to go in one of those If you know how to get me in the old buildings in Belfast, drop a comment because Look, stories are in that building Okay, I don't have a car But we're going in here Okay, this may be my favorite part of the trip today because it's the least confusing. It's just art. It's art, you guys. Art is so simple. So, so Belfast style. Art connoisseur at your service. Belfast style. We have a lot of these bubblies that are so, like the rounder letters with this very sharp pointy things like we saw in Glasgow. And the colors here are a whole lot more vibrant. I notice a lot of teals in the art here. Oh, how much fun would it be to go up there? Ooh, 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 ooh. Sparkle paint. That's pretty. Guys, I found some artists in, in the process. Look. Okay, so first we have this beautiful yard here. How did they get in? Do they need friends? You can watch them paint. There's two guys up here. And they're painting. I hope they don't mind if I watch them. I'm just going to admire their art. Me, me, person behind me. I think I just did a dog poop. That's okay, because I have art. Okay, there's definitely a way in there. And the thing I don't like about it, like, the guys have to cover their faces and stuff. So they're not found out. And like, why? Why can't we just like, let artists paint in? Look, they're just putting art on these beautiful buildings that are abandoned to make them look a little bit prettier. Why can't we let artists paint in peace? Paint without a face mask. I 
didn't know. Culture is weird. Culture is very weird, you guys.